Hello everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for watching the video and thanks for supporting Hog Island. Alright, today we're going to get into another product and a brand I stand behind, but not endorsed by. Just I stand behind them 100%. I've had their equipment for about five years now, three to five, something like that. They uh, offer a wide variety of landscaping racks, lockable landscaping racks, all kinds of things. But today in particular, we have a chainsaw rack. I think that's what this one is. Yep, chainsaw rack. Equipment Defender Chainsaw Rack Assembly Instructions. One thing I like about Equipment Defender is all of their racks and etc. All the ones that I've seen, let me make that correction. All the ones that I've seen are open trailer friendly or enclosed trailer friendly. They come with usually a mounting system for both. And they also have an optional combination lock. I think I cheaped my way out and I went with the keyed. But I, that's all I have and the only hassle is keeping up with keys. But hey, that's my problem. Not the product's fault. So this is what it's going to look like in the bag, in the box. And again, I only have one hand because you know I'm new to this, and yeah, we'll get more tech savvy and maybe some camera holders or something in the near future. There's a lock and assembly. And there's the keys. Good place to put them. <laughs> so if you're wondering where your keys are, that's where they were. But for now, I'm going to stick these in that box. Better yet, I'm going to put them in my pocket. Because I am known to lay stuff down. don't want to cut too much. Knife's a little dull. It has a hard life. All right. This is what you're going to get when you get it out of the box. Set of instructions, mounting bolts, assembly bolts. Hex wrench, star wrench, whatever everybody calls them. Different names for different things. All right, now I'm going to take a look at these instructions and I'll get right back with you. All right, all the hardware is out of the package. They're all individually labeled. That's a plus. The first step is to take remove the four screws shown uno dos tres cuatro all right we have removed the four screws or bolts from this piece here out of this piece and there's the other two if you're wondering where they're at they were in my hands all right let's see what the next step Install the lock assembly using the hardware labeled lock attachment bolts. Right there. All right, I will show on this piece here, attach it to this piece here, I believe it is. Be back in a second. All right, one, one quick little tip. Don't lose these. These are back here, which is what that bolted to. When you flip it sideways to put it exactly like the image says, those will slide out. Don't want to lose them. Got to have them. All right, so I'm saying we mount this here. And I'll get that bolted up, and then you'll see it. Hey, bud. What are you doing? 
All right. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket to tighten up these two bolts. And this is what it looks like when you're finished. Now we move to the next step. Step three. If you're mounting on an enclosed trailer wall, go to step five. So we're not going to go to step five because we're going, we're mounting on an open trailer. All right, so this is the next conglomeration. First, we're going to mount the shield. That's what they call the shield. Two this piece here. We're going to use the chainsaw rack shield bolts. Very simple. No finding numbers for bolts and all of that nonsense. All right, I'll be back in a second. This piece comes with two carriage bolts, two lock nuts. Carriage bolts go right here. Then you'll put the mounting plate, or the shield, excuse me, over that. And tighten it all down. Alright, that's what it looks like after it's bolted together. Carriage bolts going to the back. You will need a 13 millimeter wrench to tighten that up. I couldn't really get a socket in there. I guess you could have with a swivel, but it uh, wasn't worth it. Had a wrench close by. Alright, let's go to the next step next part of the step now we install the open trailer mounting bracket using the hardware packet labeled open trailer mounting hardware enclosed trailer mounting hardware we won't need those we'll throw those back in the box look at old hammer over there just relax it's my partner in crime all right here we go You know what? Dump it all out of there. Let's find the bolts we need. I'm not really worried about the uh, putting the wrong bolts in because I think we have plenty. Because I will be welding mine to the trailer. I, like I've said in my previous videos, I trust my welds more than I do bolts. And I don't like drilling in my trailer, drilling holes in my trailer makes it weaker just my opinion personal opinion equipment defender don't come at me i know everybody doesn't have access to a welder but i just prefer to weld mine on personal preference all right so now we get this piece we mount it Put this down here just like this I'm assuming hey we found four holes that lined up I'm assuming that's it looks good to me all right I'm gonna huh let's see hey if it fits it ships that's the bolts that go in it two three and four that looks like it four nuts and four bolts all right, I'll get it put on here. All right, it's all assembled. That's what she looks like. You will need a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet and wrench. Or a ratchet wrench if you have one available. I don't have any down here with me. All right, we're going to move on down to the next step. Use a 3 8 drill bit for mounting holes onto your trailer. One and two, drill the holes back. Yeah, see, I skip all of that, but just for reference for anybody bolting it, it takes a 3 8 drill bit to drill holes one and two. It's just saying to go ahead and bolt one and two down before you 
drill three and four that way you know it's all the way down before you yeah you get the idea bolt those first drill and bolt those first and then come to those all right and here's your instructions for mounting on enclosed trailer walls all right now we're gonna skip all of that after mounting it says mount the first piece and the first step we took off that takes these two sliding jaw pieces or as they call them a bar nut we're going to bolt this piece back onto here i will get that taken care of and i will show you all what it looks like all right this is what it looks like all assembled got your clamping bars in right there it says leave them loose so you can make adjustments i didn't leave them that loose but leave them loose so you can adjust it to the width of your bar so you can set it and then you lock this in place once it's there it locks down this bar goes in here and it locks the lock very very cool design i will say i've been thinking of many things to do this with sorry i got lost in thought looking at something i thought i'd messed up but all right now it says helpful hand it does say right here i will go ahead and i won't skip this part because it is a big help uh, make sure you install one bolt and one nut first it will help you hold it on each one so that way you can put it just put these two on right from right here so i'd put the back two in first that way you can just spin the bar around this piece right here and bolt it back up just for the viewers um, i just clamped it to my big gooseneck trailer just so you'd see how it works and how it mounts up now uh, i particularly run a steel ms170 on the trailer i do keep bigger saws but i'm usually usually can plan ahead for bigger stuff so i use a keep a 170 on the trailer at all times um just for just little limbs and stuff that you wouldn't want to have to pull out and just drag by hand so you cut them up and then carry them away the landscapers know what i'm talking about so this is still loose these bolts here are still loose pushed i pushed it all the way up against it with your handle all the way back that way when you clamp it's tight and it's hard to get out so you know, naturally it slid back but i will tighten it down and then i will i just wanted to show that to you that is how it mounts up it mounts up on the bar so i'm going to tighten these up and show you what it looks like okay so what i did is i tightened these two bolts uh decently decently amount uh about half of the tightness that you'd really want it running down the road no. and i clamped it together to make sure it wasn't too tight so now that i got it where i want it and it's still tight and that's just with two bolts in there i tightened those two down one good thing about it me being the skeptic that i am i'm like huh somebody could still get in there well all you do with stuff like this is slow the thief down so you can run in and grab lunch or run in and buy some more supplies or something like that and while you're cutting a yard you, don't, you can't sit there and run back and forth to your trailer and keeping an eye on it but these two bolts are the only two bolts exposed the other two are back here so technically you would have to get the saw out to get those four bolts out but like i said anything is can be stolen so you just try to slow them down a little bit it's basically what i've been told all my life so unclamp this it lets off of your jaw then you pull your saw out don't forget to tighten those other two bolts i'm not sure how the instructions said do it i just saw how it went and i went with it all right i'm going to show you how to load it i have tightened those two bolts and just check those again to make sure they were tight. 
I would recommend putting, since there's no actual nut on it, I would recommend putting some blue Loctite, medium strength Loctite. Use red at your own risk. And uh, of course, you know, if you put red, you're going to have to heat it up most likely to get it to break free. But uh, I put a little blue Loctite on there. won't hurt anything. You can break it by hand if you have to. Might have to grunt a little bit. All right, saw goes in. And now we see it's nice and tight. Push it back and it locks. It's really snug. I trust it going down these. I mean, it's just a C clamp holding it on for me, so I'm, and I'm yanking it pretty, pretty hard. Don't want to break the chainsaw. But even bouncing around, I mean, I, I'd say it's a very good mount. You won't get your seven or eight hundred dollar chainsaw stolen while you go and eat lunch. And this is how you lock it. it comes with these. I call them Coke machine keys, but it's basically what they are, vending machines. You lock it. That does not come up. And if you want to unlock it, your bar comes up, unlocks, and you go to work. All right, well, that's it for the assembly video. I'll... Uh, Probably go ahead and, since I'm doing these videos now, make a video of my whole trailer and all my setup. So that way everybody can see how everything is and what equipment Defender actually has to offer. I really, really, really love their products. They really give me peace of mind knowing that I can eat my lunch or go inside and do business with some place or and nobody's out there stealing my stuff and if they are they're really having to work for it and possibly can catch them by the time they get through but uh here, here's the uh, website equipmentdefender.com no i am no sponsor or affiliate of them but i will say uh, i do have a website now for merchandise there i plan on adding some t-shirts later on of just some designs i've had in my head for a while um if you would just any of the support helps www.hipmmerch.com i will put, try to put a link in the video I'm, I'm new to this and i'm learning so bear with me thanks for watching stay safe out there